Hello, I'm Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and I'd like to welcome you to a brief podcast today with Scott McLean, author on a new book that he has with Flat World Knowledge called Writing for Success. Hi, Scott. Hi, Sharon. So let's get started, and let me jump in with our first question, which is, what made you decide to write Writing for Success? Okay. Now, I'm building off my previous positive experience with Flat World Knowledge, <laughs> where I came to, you know, it's, it's a good thing. I, I came to Jeff years ago, or I guess it was two years ago, and said, we need a better business communication textbook. And I need something that covers a continuum that has real world examples, where I can run it in some ways like a virtual internship, where a student would have to write a cover letter, have to respond to a complaint from a customer, have to do those kinds of basic real world examples. And we were able to produce it. And, and that was a successful, wonderful experience. And so he said, well, what's next? And I said, well, part of this is oral communication and part of this is written communication. But where I really see the need, uh, especially at our institution, but really at all institutions nationwide, is writing and writing across the curriculum and writing competency. And so you see that the outcome assessments for most colleges and universities involve four or five different skill sets. But the one that keeps coming together, right, communication, written and oral, is always out front because employer surveys always say that our students need to have excellent writing skills and excellent oral skills. So, okay, so we've sort of covered the oral skills, and we Flat World has a public speaking book that's going to come online soon, and that'll help round out the availability of content and textbooks and resources and exercises and all the wonderful things that come together. But we really don't have a comprehensive resource currently that covers the continuum from a bit of developmental English all the way out to argumentation and then literature and literature analysis. And so I said, well, why don't we do something like that where uh, we might start a text and we'd say, okay, well, writing in college, well, whether you're a distance education student, whether you do hybrid courses, whether you do live courses and you turn in your papers on old-fashioned white paper, you still have to write to represent yourself. And once you represent yourself, you're no longer present when I read that. So your words have to represent you, and they have to do a great job the first time. And so whether that's a business context or in an English 101 context where you're writing a narrative essay, a descriptive essay, a persuasive essay, you have to be proficient. So what resources can we bring to the table to make a difference for the student? Well, not all students are created equal, and not everybody has equal preparation walking in the door. At our institution, we're open door. And so I expect that some students are going to have holes in terms of grammar awareness. And so there needs to be content. There needs to be exercises. There needs to be lots of things to be able to meet their need. At the same time, I'm going to have a student who does have mastery of those skills, but is really ready to go analyze a movie. Well, perfect, Scott. That, that actually leads us to our next question, right, which is what about writing for success is going to help both the students learn and the instructors teach uh, this material? Oh, perfect. Okay. So perhaps you remember, I, I learned to program basic in eighth grade. That probably dates me, right? MTV generation, right? When MTV was actually <laughs> music videos. And you and so, me both. <laughs> exactly. And so what I'm getting at here with that is that uh, I learned when I was doing web design years ago that it was a three-click rule. Well, in the, the class of 2014 that's coming through right now today, and I understand that's a traditional 18-year-old, and I, really at, at my college the average age is about 30. And so there's a whole range of folks and their experiences, but still, there are folks coming through that have never known a day when cell phones weren't there. And, the, and that three-click rule really doesn't apply anymore. It's a one-click rule. Uh, uh, eBay's used that. Lots of different models have used it where I need to be able to get things done in one click. I need to be able to find them right where. I need just-in-time training. And so as a student, when you tell me that I have a subject-verb agreement error, I want to know what that is. I want to see an example. I want an exercise. I want to be able to try it on myself demonstrate mastery and move on. I want to be able to come back to that with one click and then be able to move forward so that I don't repeat the error, lose those points, and then improve as I try to improve my writing performance. Our text combines the best of the flat world model where our online content is free and it's always accessible regardless when you're awake, whether that's two in the morning or two in the afternoon. And so that's a great part of the model. We have it represented in multiple ways for lots of different learning styles, oral, written. And then we have this graphic one-click sort of interface where if I did want to learn about regular verbs versus irregular verbs or maintaining consistent verb tense or, again, subject-verb agreement, sentence structure, fragments, run-ons, all those things are a one-click access where you do get not just a definition, but you have examples and then exercises for mastery 
to be able to do that. Again, the whole goal across most of our English courses is to demonstrate mastery at the end, to be able to produce that wonderful five-paragraph essay that does represent you in your absence and does it well. That's fantastic. It's not only, um, well, it's actually taking the tools that are available to us now and especially through the flat world knowledge model and meeting the needs of students uh, no matter what their their learning styles are and of course then helping instructors get to the desire desired end result which is which is mastery of the material so that's fantastic yep. and you know i mean i've asked you this before and we've talked about it before on on the podcast actually for the business Six for success textbook which you which you alluded to after our first question um and I said, of course, you, you, you have published with traditional publishers, and uh, you could have published these books with, with a traditional publisher, and you know that we're happy to have you back doing another one with us here. But can you tell the listeners, if this is their first time hearing about all of this, what made you decide to, to come to Flat World and publish your textbooks? Certainly. One of the things we've talked about at length is the idea that uh, many instructors, even if I'm a member of an 8 or 10 or 12 faculty member English department, uh, I'm going to be in some ways a person unto myself, and I have to go motivate myself, create materials. Maybe I don't get to text, choose my textbook, maybe I do. But oftentimes it can be a solitary experience, where with Flat World, no, not at all. I'm taking things that I've been able to adapt for the classroom, turn them into a workable library that we're calling a textbook, but it's really content that I can move and I can mix and I can match based on where I'm teaching. And then I can collaborate with other faculty members just like myself at other institutions and they can contribute back to Flat World around this universe of knowledge. And so when Jeff asked about English or writing written communication after oral or business communication, he said absolutely this is one area where all community colleges, all four-year institutions, all research institutions would love to have their students be able to write better. This is something we can rally a lot of faculty around and really collaborate things. But like any chemical reaction, you need a catalyst. And so I said, okay, I'll dive in. I'll do some basic chapters, and we'll have 19 chapters or 18 chapters that really cover that continuum of a bit of developmental, right, sentence, subject-verb agreement, all the way out to literature analysis, essays, narrative essay, descriptive essay, persuasive, and cover that. And then once that platform is in place, then I can collaborate with my other faculty members, and they can help contribute, but they don't have to do all the heavy lifting. And so... That's neat because then, again, rejuvenation of a professional. I get to collaborate with peers across time and, yeah, distance. And so it's a lot of fun. It helps me be excited for the students. And then the second part of that has to do with adaptability. This summer I, t I actually ta taught at uh, San Luis um, on the U.S. side of the border, but I could actually see the metal fence. This is in the state of Arizona. And so that means I look out my office window at the institution, Arizona Western College, has a branch campus right on the U.S.-Mexican border, and I can see the wall. And so I have students in that audience who are taking English 100, the precursor course for English 101, who have a completely different skill set, need, preparation base that I am meeting right now on the main campus 40 miles from the border, who graduated from local high schools. Well, now I have a textbook that covers that range where I can say, we all need to get to that same mastery level, but how we get there might be different for each audience. And so Flat World offers me the ability to customize and put those units together, put those mastery exercises together to focus on the individual needs of my individual students as well as the class as well as the content. And so it's a great combination. You know, it is. And we are all very passionate about giving instructors the ability to make this what their students need. And it's always wonderful to work with an author like yourself who has that very same passion for teaching and for their students. Um, and, and I know we appreciate it, and I'm sure our listeners appreciate it, and they'll really appreciate it once they have an opportunity to check out uh, your new Writing for Success textbook. So thanks for your time today, Scott. And thank Thanks, you. Sharon. Thank you for all the listeners today who've spent a couple minutes with us learning a little bit more about Scott McLean's new textbook with Flat World Knowledge, Writing for Success. Thank you.